Well, von Willebrand's disease is a bleeding disorder that affects many people, but unfortunately, the majority of people who are living with von Willebrand's disease aren't currently diagnosed. And it's really important to know about von Willebrand's disease because if you need surgery in the future, or if you become pregnant and you're planning a delivery, or you're planning to have your teeth out, these are all times in which you can experience excessive or profuse bleeding if you have von Willebrand's disease. So haemophilia is one of the commonly recognised bleeding disorders and it's probably the one that the public are more aware of. And it primarily affects men more so than women and characteristically presents at a younger age with things like joint bleed, so blood into the knee or the elbow. Von Willebrand's disease is different. It causes bleeding at different sites including things like nosebleeds, bleeding from your mouth and gums, bleeding from your gut or bleeding with heavy periods. So they're different in terms of the underlying cause, they're different in terms of the bleeding patterns that's seen, and certainly they're very different in terms of the public awareness, of which for von Willebrand's disease it's very poor. For people with von Willebrand's disease, they typically have a lifelong history of easy bruising, of rather large bruises that will appear spontaneously, often on their arms and their legs. They can have frequent or severe nosebleeds that would last longer than 10 or 15 minutes. They, for women, they can have excessive bleeding at the time of periods that can often be longer than seven days. Or they can have bleeding when they have deliveries or childbirth or bleeding that lasts for a longer time once they go home after having the baby. If they have a surgical challenge, or what we call a hemostatic challenge, so they have a tooth removed, if they undergo a surgery or a procedure or a biopsy, these are often the times in which they experience bleeding. It's really important in terms of not only managing the bleeding symptoms you have now to know that you have von Willebrand's disease, but also to plan for the future. So for people who are experiencing bleeding now that's due to von Willebrand's disease, we have lots of effective treatments that can be used. And we can also look at replacing things like iron that is often low in people who experience persistent or severe bleeding. It's also important to know for the future in terms of planning any surgeries, any procedures, dental extractions or deliveries in childbirth. And it's relevant for other family members as this is often an inherited condition. So by detecting one person in the family, we'll often invite others who experience bleeding in that family for screening and we can identify other affected family members. If you're concerned that you may be experiencing excessive bleeding, there's a lot of really helpful online resources. For women with heavy periods, we have a website called knowyourflow.ie which goes through both how to recognise heavy periods but also how to um, understand if you could have a bleeding disorder related to this. There's a very useful website called letstalkperiod.ca and that has on it a self bath so a patient assessed bleeding assessment tool. So you can fill out a questionnaire that will give you a score at the end and inform you as to whether this could be suggestive of an underlying bleeding disorder. And this is not only just for women, it's also for men. So we really advise people to have a look at that, complete the score, and if they are concerned, to bring that to their GP to start the discussion about whether they could have an underlying bleeding disorder order and merit referral.